guys, I go by the name of Illuminous Eyes, and I'm here to illuminate the motherfucking wise. Today we got a really quick message. This one's going to be for Virgo. Okay, Virgo, I do want your message over because I don't like energy suckers. Okay, can I get a card, please? For Virgo. What is the energy for Virgo, please? I'm using my deed cards. Deed meaning action, movement, or, or, or maneuver. Okay, it says long-term stability. Ooh, I like that. Time for me to heal. So it's... So I'm getting, I'm, are you in a, were you, were you, or are you in a, a, a long-term relationship and it's time for you to heal? Okay. I want to kind of leave this on um, good energy, long-term stability. You could be running into someone and you guys are um, going to hit it off. Like if you're single, I feel like you guys are going to hit it off. This person's going to be in your life for a long time. I'm hearing long haul. Okay. I'm also getting that you could possibly be working on something that's going to give you some long-term stability. Okay. Whatever this is, it seems to be quite healing. Okay. You could be a healer. Okay. I, I feel like you're going to be in the game of, of helping people for a long time. You're going to um, be very prosperous. You're going to make money. I'm not going to say it because I feel like that message is too close and I don't want you to feel like this message is for you. Um, can I get a, a, a meter card? Meter meaning time, scale, or barometer, okay? It says nine months. So I'm getting you need to go into um, um, hermit mode. You need to go and go go within and heal yourself at least for nine months. It's been a long time since you genuinely healed yourself. <clears throat> I feel like you're a Virgo that is not focusing on your money. I'm not trying to go hard on you, Virgo. I really ain't. Because we already know that you guys get a little iffy when I go too hard. But I feel like nine months, it's been a while since you've been healing yourself. This could be something as simple as meditation. It's been nine months since you last meditated. Okay? Um, if you believe in spiritual baths, I feel like you should take a spiritual bathing bath. Literally, bathe yourself um, in like a, a spiritual wash from head to toe. Okay? Um... I feel like I'm hearing that song, the 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 social media song, it's the me for me. Okay. I feel like is it you for you? I feel like you could be working on um healing yourself right now. It I, I feel like for the last nine months you've been healing. Okay. So that's the time that I got for you. Nine months. If you have a question on how long something's going to take, it got it gave me the time nine months. Okay. You could have been waiting a long time for something to come in, but nine months. Can I get a sun card, please? What is the sun? What is the clarity from the sun, please? What is the sun card saying for Virgo? I, I, I hope I said that this video was for Virgo. It is. Can I get a card, please? For Virgo. What is the sun card? Could you make something clear? What, what is the, What's happening here with Virgo? Can I get one card, please, for Virgo? It says husband, still learning. Okay. So, I, so someone's learning how to heal themselves from their husband. This could be your husband. Your husband needs time to heal. They need space where they just need healing in, in, in general. <clears throat> I'm also getting that someone's husband bears the most responsibility. So they may be going on like a nine-month hiatus and you have to pick up uh, the puzzle pieces in the home or in the relationship. But I, I feel like I'm reading for two earth signs. Both of you guys do well with taking care of each other. Okay, I feel like you're going to be in this um, relationship for like seven years or more. Okay, still learning time for me to heal could be something that you need to do, Virgo. You need to learn how to heal yourself from your past relationship. You could have been married or not. I'm getting, I'm getting, um, once you finish healing yourself, you're actually going to find someone else or be with someone else that is going to be in a long-term committed relationship with you. Your husband could be a healer. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm reading for two earth signs and one. Your husband could be a healer. Okay. I feel like I feel like maybe you should um learn from them, your husband, your man, your partner, your mate. Can I get a card for what is the long-term stability, please, for Virgo? As I look over to my deck, I see the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. So I, I'm, I'm hearing Law of Attraction. The Nine of Pentacles is my long, my uh, Law of Attraction card. It's like um, needing to work on affirmations, working on your confidence. Okay, Nine of Pentacles 
it has long, um, long-term long stability. The Nine of Pentacles puts money away. She manages her money very well. So with, with me looking over now, look, and I just shuffled and she's coming up in the upright. So if you're, if you're trying to save money for something or you need money for something, I, I'm getting it's better. Yes, it's better to save is what I'm trying to say. I'm getting that you have to save. We have the double nines here, nine, nine of Pentacles and nine months. You need to, you need to save for nine months. That saving is a healing process or that that helps you with the something. OK, so maybe you're learning how to uh, put money away into your savings account. The nine of pentacles can be a savings account. I feel like you need like um, a couple of thousands. I, I want to say almost nine thousand, ten thousand dollars to release yourself from something. OK, so this could be like a um, some type of debt or bill. OK, because the, the knight of pentacles is a bill. I don't know if this is a car note, if this is like a um, mortgage or something like that. You could be trying to open up an old, uh, your own business where you teach people or where you, where you, I guess, heal people. But I'm getting, I'm getting, um, first and foremost, I feel like this, this is all about law of attraction. If you're trying to open up your own business where you are a healer or where you teach people something, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm hearing tutor is what I'm hearing. Yeah. I feel like, um, first of all, you need to meditate and stop manifesting because I feel like you want something so bad, but it, you're missing one key factor. Either you can feel what you want, but you can't see it, or you can see what you want and you can't feel it. So manifestation to me, magic to me is all about focus, having all the key elements that you need to be able to um, put your focus on something and manifest it. So you can, you, you may need to learn how to manifest. Some of you guys are trying to manifest a husband, literally a husband, or some of you guys are trying to manifest a wife. Okay. But I feel like it, it takes time for you to heal. Okay. I'm, um, if you are trying to open this business, this is something simple as keeping the focus on what you do with your money, how you spend your money, how you save your money. Okay. You may have someone um, beside you that is better with money than you. You need to go to them and ask them um, if they can help you or teach you some tricks and trades on how to get closer to your fucking dream. Okay. Yeah. Can I get a card, please? For the long-term stability. What is the long-term stability, please, for Virgo? I hope I'm making sense. What is a long-term stability for Virgo? Then long-term stability is a nine of pentacles for me. So I'm getting that you're, you're going to have a, um, an influx in your money. You're actually going to be making more money. Okay. It could have been something that you've mastered. Like you could have a, a degree for whatever you're doing that's making you more money. Okay. Because I feel like you have a, a degree, a master's, a certificate of some sort. Okay. I, this could be your husband that is... Um, <clears throat> certified in something this could be your husband that is certified in something they could be a doctor a nurse i'm i'm actually hearing um what is those like a, those physicians where you work out people when they get surgery like i feel like someone does that okay i'm getting that someone is actually going to be getting a um a career opportunity in the next 9 months I feel like you're going to be at this job for more than seven years. Underneath seven years is do it. So just do it, okay? I feel like you're going to get a call in the next couple of days or... Yeah, yeah, you're just going to get contact in the next couple of days. I'm, they're not giving me 100%. I'm just seeing a phone call. Um, Long-term stability is confirmed by the two of swords. So yeah, you're going to have to choose. You're going to have to choose or make a choice on, on what type of career path you want, or you may have to choose to heal yourself for the next nine months. I, I, it's a learning process. I'm getting something about your mind. Protect your mind or shift your focus. Okay, Virgo. Yeah, because I feel like, I feel like you're, you, you could possibly be in a dark place. This may have nothing to do with you. This could be an air sign. This could be a fire sign or a water sign, but I, I'm, I'm getting someone here needs to shift their perspective. Whatever you're thinking about, it's not worth the mental term or you let that shit go. Okay. I feel like someone has moon and cancer. You stay stuck on shit. Okay. Can I get a card please for the nine months? What is nine months here? Please for Virgo. What is the nine months? What's happening in nine months? Okay, yeah, okay. So 
the the star card so this could be mental health physical health star card for me is literal health and remember what i said about the spiritual bathing it, it definitely needs to happen okay it's in reverse star card came out in reverse okay under the nine months um so i so i feel like this is all about mental health physical health and healing yourself um whether this is you or someone else this is something that needs to take place okay can i get a card please you may be hoping and wishing and praying for something, but I feel like it's going to take time for whatever it is that you're hoping and praying for. When you do get it, it's saying that you're going to have options, at least two of them. Which one are you choosing? Okay. Can I get a card, please? Okay. I also see that I'm also seeing that there's a choice here. Okay. Virgo between two people, an air sign and a and an Aquarius. Aquarius is an air sign. So I, I don't know. I feel like it's a Libra and Aquarius, okay? I feel like you've been going out with the Libra for seven years in a long-term committed relationship, okay? But you've been you've been talking to a, a, an Aquarius for the last nine months. You could possibly be in a relationship where you were actually married and, 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 and weighing your options of whether you still want to be married because I do have the time for me to heal here. Maybe you feel like you need to... Um, Go learn more about yourself and just kind of be to yourself, okay? I'm also seeing, Virgo, your intuition's at an all-time high, but I feel like, like I said, the moon card in reverse. Moon card can talk about clarity, but can also talk about the dark side of your mind, okay? The negative part of your mind, okay? I feel like find things that make you happy. You could possibly be seeing the numbers 111, 222, okay? That, that is a clear indication of, like, telling you that your mind needs to be healed or your body needs to be healed or some learn something about healing your yourself okay can i get a something can i get a card please for the husband what is the husband here what is the husband here i'm actually seeing someone do something with their hands so someone here could be a reiki healer okay an energy healer i feel like i'm reading for a male okay i feel like it's a scorpio male that you're dealing with you can have scorpio traits okay I literally heard prone to chaos, okay? So if you are a Virgo with Scorpio traits, I feel like you're you're prone to chaos because you're learning how to heal or change. I feel like you're a, you're a Virgo with Scorpio traits that you don't like change, although Scorpios are comfortable with change, okay? Can I get a card, please? I'm also getting that. I'm also getting that if you're um, working on music or if you're writing something, protect your work. Okay, can I get a card, please, for the husband? Yeah, so, so those of you that's wondering if you are going to get married, we do have the three of wands. It's definitely in your future, okay, to get married. Just don't, I, I feel like there's some type of fear, underlying fear or worry that you're not going to get married or the husband can just be simply um, meeting, um, having an, a significant partner. You are, okay, you are. I'm also getting for those of you that are married, if you're married to a fire sign, heavy emphasis on Leo. I feel like um, the Leo husband is trying to give you some information that they learned. Okay. I do feel like it's healing. I do feel like this information is not going to um, be important to you whatsoever until like literally nine months from now, eight to nine months from now. It's about literally, I guess, healing or something in regards to the mind. It could be about moving or traveling or relocating, but I feel like someone is someone around you has great information, Virgo, that you should listen to, okay? Overall deck, queen of, queen of cups. I, I feel like it's coming from an intuitive place or a place of love. Yeah. It could be about mind control or about walking away. Yeah, I feel like I feel like I feel like someone here. I feel like the messenger is the is the fire sign. Okay. It could be it could be a um an air sign like a, a Libra, but someone here is trying to give you some type of information to balance you out, or they're trying to lead you in a specific direction. Let go of control issues or let go of the need of being right. So you're this is a learning process for you. Okay, I'm getting that something here will be healing. I don't think that you're going to see the results until like literally nine months from now. They got, I'm, I'm seeing, um, I do see double eight here. So, okay, there will be something balanced in eight months or something's going to come back in eight months from today.
I do feel like, uh, like I was saying, I do feel like someone's husband, partner, or significant other is trying to inform you about something. This could be your health or the way you think or telling you that, you know, heal yourself or some shit like that. I feel like your husband is, is a very nice, wise person. This could just be someone that you spend a lot of time with. But that's what I got for you, Virgo. Let me know in the comments, okay?